Instead of being the sorry cop, we'll be the brainiac genius cop. I feel that way, you know? Mm-hmm. No matter no matter what thoughts I have in my cabinet, I'm feeling like the brainiac genius cop already. Oh, oh hey. There's the other side of the door. There's okay. the entrance. Stainless white day where the black flash is a female figure in the morning. NB, the spare key is the tied spare... to the bush outside the corner room window. We're in the corner room, right? Yeah. Hmm. You think we go out on the balcony and we'll find something now then? That's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimpled lock. It's painted blue. There must be a key somewhere. Probably somewhere in the Oh, okay, way. that's the thing we just read. It's the... not too important. Yeah, so we, we can gotta get go back upstairs, using it seems the... like, to get out of here right now, but I think we can go get the key. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the question is... This who's... small elevator oh, what? is dimly lit by a bulb that's been glowing for ages. The who... latticed cage is open, has been inviting you in out, to up, step up inside. Smells yeah. of nougat and sweat. Your nougat? head brushes up against the ceiling. There yeah, is a control nougat, panel right? to your right. Absolutely. And just enough room okay. for two people to Maybe that's just how it's pronounced in Ravishol. This elevator yeah. must have been used to transport pinball machines to and from the upstairs workshop. There are large rectangular buttons. Monte, the sound, and an international call for emergency assistance. That third one appears to be broken. <laughs> a small steel plaque reads Halter 800. Halter is a Koningsteiner lift company who went out of business a long, long time ago. I love with Seems all our so. encyclopedia points how much just like shit we know. Yeah. Elevator. Um. All right. Well, let's go up. Yeah. It's weird Some... that like we got that dialogue at the bottom, but not yeah looking at the elevator at the top. That's why I was, I was really confused when it popped up, because I'm like, why did that happen? So this is where they brought 40 pinball machines to fix them up. A long time ago. Everything is covered with dust now. Okay, the and... lieutenant looks around the dusty, crowded room, inspecting the tools on the shelf. At some point, 20 years ago, 15 maybe, before pinball went out of vogue. Don't tell the damn wizard that. Looks like it. I'm yeah. guessing Martinez North 22 used to be a pinball arcade before it became a hostel. There's a couple like active there pinball machines left over. Or pin bars. It's called pin bar, pinball bars in Calgary. I Downstairs in the hall, next to the main door. One of them even works. I've seen one of the hardest bang away at it. Remember the dice maker? Then that means. Miller wants the East Delta pinball arcade. Ah yes, as the novelty mm, dice maker okay. said. Okay. This has absolutely nothing to do with the case, I'm sure. But I do like a nice little connection. Him. But then it went bankrupt. Your skin crawls from making the connection. <laughs> if that's true, then our cafeteria manager is not going to like it. We should tell him what we found up here, omitting that suspicion. He does not appear um. to be the kind of man who likes his establishment to be part of a neighborhood ghost story. About we should bankruptcy. definitely tell him. Because Stupid I don't like superstition. At all. Yeah. But so. still, it would be interesting to see what the cafeteria manager. I mean, also to interrogate now that we know that the, the blue door is actually kind of related, to know who potentially might have been going in and out of the yeah, kitchen. Exactly. Even, it's right? not a is ghost a story. Yep. It's a curse, and God ought to yep, be made knowledgeable so he could perform counter spells. Inland Empire, you're kind of Fuck. a dummy, huh? <laughs> Fucking right, Inland Empire. Hey, so we just found um, some cool pinball machines behind your room. If you ever want to, like, you know, blow some steam, a lot of fun to be had back there. Oh. Just as you look at the flowers, a gust of wind raises them from the roof, picking them up in the air. You catch a single Easily. flower Boom. between your fingers. The rest fly off into I, the I wonder, you know, it's just amazing. equip that coat that gives plus one hand-eye coordination. Yeah. It's all pay and all. Yeah. The young woman looks Worth at it. the Maybell in your hand. Just a glance. Impressed? Then takes a drag of her I would be. I'd be impressed. gives you an acknowledging little nod. Hell yeah, Kim's impressed. Why did that let Kim. us re-roll this volition? Officer. Oh, no, just share with the bar. Yeah. She looks at the dried petals in your palm, then lightly touches one with her fingernail. Pretty. 
Looks like a dried Maybell. Is that the one you caught? Sambo style? Why was there a flower on the roof? Oh. I don't know, officer. Okay, well... I was hoping she would think it was cooler than that. Yeah, didn't find it cool look at all. Six look crumbling at petals rest on your palm. They're white. A bell-shaped crown. This is the Insulindian lily, called Maybells or Lucille's Tears during the revolution. Girls used to pin these on soldiers before sending them off to battle. This flower oh, is a spring flower, but it's a bit early for that, isn't it? Hmm. That is interesting. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Yes, but not this early. Not to my knowledge. It looks dried, yeah. preserved. Uh -huh. The revolutionaries saw the communards and the anarchists. White's their color. But the custom started in the suzerain's army, so it held meaning for the kingsmen too. It's about girls and boys more than sides. Girls sending off boys who are going to their deaths, then also dying themselves in the ruins from dysentery and consumption. It's a symbol of the civil war. The Graham. petals feel dry and fragile Dark in your flower. hand. Water flows under the channel bridge. Dark water. You rub your sides for warmth, but there is none. The feeling recedes. I really thought that was going to be like a, a pawn shop thing. Yeah, so no, it's just a it's like fun a... flower for us. Yeah. Alright, so you guys speak to from the Hardy Boys about that. Ask her about Sunday nights. That's at Kim's on around, right? Okay. Yeah, we gotta wait for him to go to bed. Um, maybe a little later. After this one, I depart from the first area. Okay. And also, once we leave here, finish up everything in here, can try and see if we can get more intel about the boots from Bone Lady. Yeah. The lady lives on the floor. Yeah. Phone. Let me use the stairs. Thank you. Actually, yeah, we didn't have to even bring back up the new window and why it was replaced, which yeah. it, it seems weird to have that as a detail if it's just like, oh yeah, it's a new window. End of thought. I wonder right? if we'll be able to ask. I wonder if it's one of those things that will pop up in like, guards got that menu for like, I noticed something new about the whirling and rags. We got the secret passages now, but I wonder if the window would come up too. Yeah. Because ostensibly he would know if we replaced a window. Well, he did actually just recently take over for someone else who was managing it, right? I forget what her name was, but... Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. He is just the cafeteria manager. Right. I wonder if these freaks have anything new to say real quick, too. Yes. Oh, okay. Can I talk to this guy? You look like... And I don't mean that as a metaphor. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Um... Uh... I don't look like Judith, shit. back me up here. You do look... It looks like it's been a tough week for him. Now, what do you want? There's something about this guy that Fuck matches guy. with a face in your head. A similar, but different face. He might be wearing a disguise. Uh, cool shades, are you wearing yes. a disguise? It's a hobby of mine. <clears throat> As if waiting for some kind of reaction or response. Something to click. It's not happening, though. Who is this guy? Him. Who is this guy? Mm -mm. I'm not getting involved in this. Okay. Let's figure it out. You know what it is. Let's figure it it's out. It's like the two of you know each other. Figure Just it ask out. him. Oh, I definitely know you from somewhere. Another life. Yes, from another life. A different life. Maybe the life of a police officer belonging to the ranks of the... To what station do you think you would belong in this alternate and totally fictional reality? Uh, I'm gonna, I gotta go with the nine 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 nine. That's exactly right. Down to a fraction. I don't even know what to say to that. What is your goddamn station? Okay, okay, that's plausible. That's entirely plausible. Now we're really getting somewhere. Somewhere hmm. good. Hmm. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, the hypothetical 41. Yeah, let's fantasize about that. I'm not busy. You're not busy. Let's just play around. It's weird that it wasn't voice acted. Good uh, good job stepping in there, Zay. What What do you mean it wasn't voice acted? I heard him talking. Oh, you're right. 
Let's be crazy. Let's say wind. you and I are partners. Resuming How's conversation. for a thought experiment? Uh, partners. Okay. Would you now? Cool. Or would I be cramping your style? Never mind, partner. Um, you probably would cramp oh my God. style. I'd head for that to happen. You know what might help prevent that, though? Me doing my fucking job not pestering you anymore? You doing your fucking job. Awesome. Oh, no, no, no. You see, I enjoy watching other better cops solve crimes. And let me tell you, it's been quite a privilege seeing you work. This isn't helping. She says, shaking her head, her head and looking at the man with sunglasses disapprovingly. You're not going to believe this, but police officers. Yes, sir. Solving crimes, looking at bad guys and and get this and not getting that drink on at two o'clock. Yo, it is two o'clock. I might get my drink on. Just some regular boring motherfuckers in suits and uniforms. Nothing spectacularly extravagant like you, the far out son of Lang. What the fuck is going on with this guy? <clears throat> Oh, it's you, you eccentric genius. I mean, with your unorthodox approach to police work, it has to be you. I try to go for a better uh, version of his bizarre you know, or tone of speech. Yeah, he's got a weird cadence in his words, for sure. Not even a little bit. It's an urban myth about an officer who is so far undercover he can't remember who he is. As I said, just an urban myth. You are not the son of Lang. Okay, yes, you get the joke. Well, Leave it at that. Neither can I. Don't partner. feel like I got anything from this guy. Neither can I. About what? You don't look like a cop. You know what you look like? Mega star. Yes, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. superstar cop. Of course. Fuck yeah! This Everybody guy. knows. Who does this asshole think he is? A cop? No. Okay. No, he doesn't. Huh. If I wasn't clinically depressed, I'd burst out laughing. But I'm gonna go with no right now. If you want to ask question, maybe you want to hear me say things? Actually, I don't. I want to hear you say things. Come on, Jean. Okay, say things. I want to hear you say things. Hear you're going to be so he impressed, my man? wants you to say things. Say one. Suddenly, out of nowhere, case-related things start popping up in your head. So, do you know who hanged him? Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I don't know. Why are you? It's like you felt it would be intellectually stimulating and would lead somewhere. A custom even? Strange. Yeah, weird. Oh my god, there's more. You want something more? What is it? Okay, Thank why not? Again. Let's do the whole thing over again. So, I don't... Oh my god, I guess if we get more clues, yeah, we can get some I don't know. Oh my god, there's... Yeah, maybe. Let's kind of like come back to him Let's as we say learn you more shit. Take the Let's be crazy. Yeah. Give me, I'm sure the lieutenant. Give me. Is no, because in this thought experiment, we are. Come on. Yep. Neither can I. Okay, watch out. This guy's just an asshole. Okay. <laughs> okay. The man with the sunglasses and his hypothetical yeah. station 41. Oh, we're going to talk weird, about it real quick. Okay. Right. Yeah, it was super weird. There's something missing here. Something you can't put our finger on. You know what? Just ask him. I know it sounds crazy, and you'll probably get lost. So is the thinking here that still, is back actually our partner? I, I mean, that's what I was gathering, but I don't know. That's where I'm at, yeah. yeah. Yes, just cross it off the list. It's probably it, not true, though. It's weird that it's also this was like, just talk to him about it when I passed the skill check, and it said, just yeah. ask him about it, and then it didn't Again? ask him about it? I can't believe this. Okay. I'm going to say no, just to see what you'll say to that. What'd you say? So we are from the same station, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Seems like Jean, it. he said okay. Give it a rest. Okay. I was clearly wrong. He is a firefighter, male nurse, animal control agent, something of that kind. Not a cop. Go on with your cop work. Don't let me stop hmm. you again. Right, weird. Well, Bizarre yeah. fucking conversation. Very weird. Anyway, hey, Gart. What's up, to buddy? Gart. I'm gonna yell at you. Help you. Uh, one of the Another thing. Stay at the Great. Line. I love those. One of the toys you in the back room. Oh, door. okay. Well, I do hear you make noise back there. So good for you. It takes a lot of willpower not to ask. 
Obviously, he's been wanting to know what's behind the door. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus, what is back there? Pinball machines. Ha! I knew it. I've always wondered where those machines by the door came from. And they told me there was some kind of pinball thing here, too. I knew it. Were there any back there? In working order, I mean. Uh, no. I, well, I mean, they all seem broken, but none of these options are say, to say, no, they all seem pretty broken. Yeah, there's another working. Yeah. No, I was just like wondering pinball with Gart. if you found yeah, pinball machines there. I would destroy this guy. He was wondering about something business related, about how much money he could make of one. On a fat cut. <laughs> Those machines I feel like are whirling pot, coming up. Also but a low if it makes you feel any better, option. I'm not planning to sell them. It wouldn't hurt to get a little life in here. Other than the hellish karaoke machine, that one's always causing trouble. Also, yeah, Gart, it's been three days. You're still enough. working on that Must bird. Good sense yeah. To him right now. It sounds like he cares about the place. He's not going to be overjoyed to hear that it's part of the doomed commercial area. He should still know. You have to be forewarned about these things. I don't let him know. I'm gonna blow his mind. What? Yeah, we gotta tell him. Why would you say that? We're at a completely different address from that whole thing. So he knows of the doomed commercial area and its address. He's thought about this. Rose is on the intercom outside. One of the bills is in the building B. If you get your wiring fixed, I tried to call and couldn't reach you. I've been working here mm -hmm. for a long time, and that intercom has never been used by the Whirling. Whirling was once the East Delta Pinball Arcade. Uh, yeah. Does this look yep. like part mm -hmm. of a doomed commercial area? This pre revolutionary tile work, <laughs> these high ceilings, the nice rooms, well, most of them. He's really in denial about the location of this building. For 14 years, man. That's how long I've worked here. I've kept this place up. Also, like, this place has sleet. three Fuckly. rooms. Some doom ghost. How do you yeah. even have a... Like, how does this qualify as a hotel, even? I'm shocked it's open, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, Who's coming here to visit? It's beautiful Besides us. In its own way. That's all the Especially murder. this neighborhood. Yeah, to and he's only charging us 20 real a night. Uh, even if it is part of the damn doomed commercial area. Yes, your police skills have delivered. I'm sure you'll get a commendation, maybe even a promotion. Being sassy for a doomed guy. Some That's real very estate good management true. company. They never come around. Let's here. make Just sure this place gets doomed. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Like you, oh yeah. Money laundering. We're doomed in this place. There's a lot more windows we can fucking break. Well, it sure as hell wasn't the real estate company. It was you. You look surprised. What? It's a great name, I know. Cafeteria managers come up with great names too. It's from a song. Hail, Holy Queen, by the Ateniers. Hail, Holy Queen of the Sea. You're whirling in rags. You're vast and you're sad. Good pick. Okay. Well. Oh. Luck. luck has got nothing to do with it. I need to think about where I'm going to place those pinballs. I have a feeling they're going to help. Against the doom, it's implied. They don't work. So if you didn't have anything else to tell me about my establishment, can we, you know, yeah, guess, wrap it up? Maybe we'll get a discount if she if he gets mad at her for yeah. putting the phone. Why? <laughs> no, fuck it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know why these degenerates do what they do. I thought we had one good guest in the building. Mystery you do. solved. Kim's staying here. I'm a good guest. I haven't done anything to bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, do I. Thank you for telling me. I guess. Good thing she pays for her stuff on time. I'll forward her the bill and be done with it. Yes. Right. You're already set for the uh, night. So I want to see if I get a discount. It's not a shaker. Am I? Am I? Because yeah, he's okay, not. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what you play it calm. Me. Well, you're not getting it. This is a thoughtful exchange. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just call the guy an asshole by accident and then move on. Uh, the key for the door was you by see the bush. The yeah, like upstairs by, by the corner room or whatever. Yeah, let's check Yeah, my guess is it's on the balcony. Although I guess we could look in any bush that we see. Yeah. I figure I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be like a new thing to like tab target into to attack, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, 
bullets. I mean, right past some bushes there, but it didn't let me select them, so I feel like it's probably not these. Yeah, they're not. So I'm just doing a full sweeping clean. Oop, hang on. Of course. Page rings a bell. Strange. Okay. Oh, what? the newspaper on the counter. Okay. I guess yeah, it's gotta outside. be outside. Still not extant. Still not loading. Oh. There we go. Okay. Do you have bush over here? Nothing. Where the fuck is this bush? Oh my god, I zoomed in and then I was freaking out and then you could really zoom this fucker way out, huh? Well, it's because we have that thought that lets us zoom out further. Yeah. Alright, well, maybe it's like. Well, now I don't know what to do. Outside? Yeah, maybe. It said bush by the corner room. That was all it said. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there could be anything else that's defined as a corner room. Oops. Well, yeah. Oops. Uh, I'm wondering maybe in the journal it even says something new, perhaps. Oh, no, just be finish a task. That's all that's new in here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess look downstairs and maybe there's a corner downstairs room somewhere there's a bush outside or something like that maybe yeah yeah do a lap around the building that's the stairs that's the him no, no bushes here sorry I know I gotta yell at the Hardy boys too for lying to me but yeah I'm not seeing anything new for this window Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. Oh, it is this window. We have plus 10 for the note in the workshop. Oh, nice. There's a yellow ribbon tied to one of the branches. Light yellow, faded wow. with time. A tiny speck of color in the blackness of the thicket, hanging from it, a bronze key. Someone hid the key in the bush and attached the yellow ribbon to make it easier to find. It's close enough to the latch up there. One can slide it open and just take it. Surely not a coincidence. Sorry. Uh, where is ceiling? Okay. I'm trying. I'm just trying to see where this. Like, I guess it's that bush in the corner. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be, huh? or just outside the window or something. That's a bad thing. Can you have the key to me, please? I'm not your janitor, cop. I don't even know what you're talking about. There. If he mm. says it's there, it's there. Boom. Get blasted, guys. Yeah, right. Give me the fucking key, man. I don't know about that. I'm comfortable here. Don't think any sliding would really help right now. Sorry, fucko. Mm. Looks like you're gonna have to go bush diving. Good fucking luck with that. The Hawthorne's got a bitch of a bite. Guess I'm gonna the enjoy the, the sight of you in the bushes out there. Which is weird. With a loud thud, the old man stands up, pushes the window oh. open, grabs the key from the Hawthorne branch, and slides it across the table to you. Thank you, Theo. The key is brass. Theo's helpful. Workshop spear is etched to its bow. The old man closes the window and sits back down in silence. Come on, man. We were just having some fun. Where's the harm in? I'm tired of listening to your shit. That's the Thank first you, thing he yeah. said. Um, yeah. And it was good. Thank don't you. thank me. I don't give two shits about your key. Hey, man. Fair. Still, you, hey, you did me a solid. Didn't even know it was mm -hmm. there. Boys. No idea. Never even seen it. Someone must have hidden it there before this room became our place. Right, what, it's for the blue door in the kitchen. There was a note there that you missed. It said the no, workshop key is behind I knew that, Kim. I'm just exhausting the dialogue options. It. And hey, yeah, Kim, heads up. Suck. You gave me 5 XP for doing that too, so fucking calm down, uh -huh. my man. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. The key fits the dimple lock, 
It takes a bit of effort to turn it after all these years, but then the lock clicks. It says after all these years, but like there were footprints upstairs. Like somebody's very yeah. clearly been in here recently. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's uh, I guess talk to Guard real quick. Give him the key. Can yeah. I help you? Another thing. Great. Oh, we I can't love. Even give him the key. Oh. It take okay. Yeah, it just seems like what you're is here. back there? Yes. Ha ha. There. But please do still. Ha! Okay, okay, I okay. knew it. Well, I was. He was wondering. I'm Can picking two different options. Maybe yeah. I'll get some XP Those out of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See some XP. Of course. Of course. All right. Uh, I'm gonna actually. It's weird because yeah, the footprints there like seemed like someone's moving back about back the there recently. Still hanging around. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to check these guys separately because I was gonna ask them. I wanted to ask them specifically about the key in the door situation. But let's uh. Some since he wasn't here. Fuck! I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. Okay, so. Wow. This guy's a real piece of shit. For the record, real piece of shit. Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify the victim as a whore, nor did he say anything about trusting her. I wonder if Elizabeth came up with the story then, or like the cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Also, like, think about how much Titus didn't want to tell us. I guess actually, yeah, in respect now, it makes sense. Titus didn't want to tell us who the victim was because. There was a, can't, like a chance that, yeah. that it would blow up the story. Um, he even had like, that, that sob story about how he loved her or whatever. What a oh, shut shit. up and stay out of this, Liz. He raped her. He was out of his fucking mind. You have no idea. Dude, you, five seconds ago, you just said she couldn't be trusted. She's just a yeah. denial, asshole. You don't understand the traumatic experience. She's shutting down. And she doesn't fucking trust you. Yeah, she's crazy, you know. A crazy bitch. You know the type. She's fucked up. This is a diversion. Stay on track. Um, cut the shit. Lawman. Yeah, I'm at the end of my them. goddamn rope with you. I fucking told you not to push her. His hands become fists. I didn't say it before talking. Oh, yeah? And you win. I didn't say before talking to him. I am gonna We're gonna fucking... be fine. We fucking kicked that one guy's ass already. Titus, Titus Hardy. Shit. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Everett personally sent me to take care of this. If this goes south, we'll all be in the shit. But you, Titus Hardy, are going to be buried. Am I understood? When she's angry, she emphasizes the S. It gives her voice a strangely hypnotic quality. Her lips barely move as she speaks. Frankly, it's a bit terrifying. Someone has to rush in to break the tension. The second in command. Look, Copper. We know that that fuck was a rapist and a killer. We got him confessing to it on tape. I mean, from what we know, that is actually just straight up true, though. Not this specific yeah. case. Uh, but yeah, yeah. but <laughs> Show it to he is a gigantic piece of shit. What's the harm? There is right? no denying. Here, jerkwad, yeah. listen to this shit, and then come back and tell me the soldier of the apocalypse was an innocent man. This is their last play, this tape. Their story is in tatters, a mess. It might be nice to listen to, but at this point, you don't need to. Yeah, why should I? You, you why don't care you? about evidence. The fuck are you a cop for <laughs> then? Pigs, T. They don't care about getting the truth. They care about getting convictions. They are fucking keeping a score on their bulletin boards. I won't be on your bulletin board. If you don't listen to the tape, we got nothing to talk about. There's a lot of questions. If you ask them now, they'll just keep bringing up the tape. Listen to it, and they'll have nothing to hide behind. Okay. What's on it? We call it the door gun a mega mix. You know why? Won't you the listen? Door to gunner it? mega mix. Yeah. You think we go into this shit deaf and dumb? You RCM aren't the only ones who know how to bug people. There's no university degree for mm, that. Okay. We I have machines. Him. We're in logistics. How do you think a harbor works? It's advanced stuff. Understood. You've listened in on their communications. How long? Since way before their chief started taking swing lessons. Things got mm. nice and quiet after that. 
It's not advanced. You just hold up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. It gets hot as hell in there. Okay, so I think this guy does it then. Don't that's, put that's yourself man. down, <laughs> Angus. It's important work. Yeah, man. You're like a radio genius or something. Those notes are some in-depth stuff. Indexes and shit. I'm sure we can find a tip player. Where can I listen to this? Why don't you try shoving it up your ass, genius? Shut up, Shanky. Shanky, that, it, that wouldn't work. I, my ass isn't a tape player, dude. Yeah, play it with your ass, cocksucker. I just said it's not going to work, Glenn. I'm sure we can find I a mean, tip player. I mean, in their defense, two people think don't it will forget work, your take, and you haven't man. tried it. Compliments of Titus Hardy. Yeah, sure. You do that. Oh, and keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder of human ugliness someday. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll get some. Them listening on their calls is definitely going to be, I imagine, important. Pretty bad stuff in there, right? You stare really at the great door gunner mega mix. If only you had a boombox, um, you would be able to. That play guy on the street had a shitty broken tape. one, didn't he? The tape feels ominous. Yeah, I did. Upon it, maybe we can go by that or one shot, maybe. Yeah. Mega mix. Okay. Real quick, I want to run back up and just try and talk to Clausia again about the back door and just see if she knows anything about if someone was sneaking around back there or anything. Um, but now I'm thinking about it, I wonder if the people that might have been sneaking around are the ones that she said are, like, out to get her, perhaps? From her old, old life or whatever? I don't know. At least on the, on its face doesn't actually seem like it might be the pertinent to the case. I don't know. 